On Component Close-Up today we bring you the resistor. In fact, these are carbon composition resistors. 1960s technology, not really used anymore. Modern resistors are normally metal film nowadays. But these resistors are made of carbon composition, so they're a little ceramic tube and they're filled with a mixture of carbon powder and some kind of secret formula proprietary filler material which makes the resistance a little bit higher so you can vary the proportions of conductive carbon and not so conductive filler material and you can vary the resistance that you want to make this particular one is uh, brown black yellow 100k um, it's missing its tolerance band there isn't a gold band on this one to say what the tolerance is that's because it's 20 percent tolerance and the absence of the tolerance band means 20 percent so that's the sort of cheapest model in in the range um it's a very standard thing um another one there this is a 10k so it's a tenth of the value um brown black orange no no tolerance band so that's tw that's 20 percent um the el cheapo resistor we can do the same thing with the same resistance value brown black orange and then silver and that indicates it's 10 percent tolerance so you pay a bit more for that uh, they're simply selected out of the manufacturing batch so the closer to the correct value they are the more precise the tolerance marking will be um, we can go a bit further still and we can bring in this one this is again it's got the same way round that is brown black and orange it's got a gold band this one has got the five percent tolerance marking a gold band but look at this there's something else going on here there's a pink band as well why is there a pink band on the end of that resistor which wasn't present on the other ones what's going on there and look at some other ones there's a one mega ohm um, silver so that's ten percent uh, what about this one? This is a 3.3k, 3.3k, 5% pink band again. What's happening there? Why are these pink bands appearing? This is a 56k. This one's a 2%, so that red band indicates 2% tolerance. Well, the pink band on the end of the resistor indicates that it's what was called high stability. Now, one of the problems with a carbon resistor and you may find this is a problem if you're trying to restore an old radio you may have a 10 10k resistor it may be 10 percent but if it hasn't got the pink band it isn't a high stability resistor and the manufacturers knew darn well that the value of the resistor would go up the resistance would increase with age particularly in a hot uh, valve radio or a resistor which was being used at a fairly high power uh, rating uh, the value of the resistance will go up so you won't get as much current through it as you should and that will make your circuit gradually over many years stop working so they would sell you the pink band on the resistor which indicates that it's not going to do that or at least they hope it isn't going to do that not so much maybe as the ordinary ones so here we've got a 56k uh, red band for two percent pink band sometimes called salmon a lot of the the old uh, data books would call this a salmon band salmon pink um they're a bit grubby now but that is actually pink under there there's a there's a 10k um you can see a bit clearer it's a bit cleaner that one um they were waxed to keep the damp out so that some of these components are wax coated and you could tell from looking at the wax whether they were getting hot enough to just melt the wax slightly and that meant they were overheating um, there's a 1k 2% high stability so there we have it that's the humble carbon composition resistor from the 1960s something that as I say we don't really see anymore unless we're messing about with uh, retro circuits, valve radios, old, very early transistor circuits, you might find resistors like this, but generally the carbon resistor isn't made anymore.